I'm here today to talk about uh, this book here. My name is John Amanchukwa, as I stated earlier. It's called It's Perfectly Normal for Students 10 and Up. This book details all kinds of sexual images, pictures of elderly people nude, pictures of an individual who's in a wheelchair with his penis out. All of these sexual pornographic images are made available and placed at the fingertips of children. And I'm sure Dr. Cruz, I don't know if you knew about this before you signed on, but hopefully this is something that you can address and deal with because this is immoral and asinine to allow children to be able to see this. Also, this book even shows images of two women having sex, a man and a woman having sex, and two men having sex. That's not perfectly normal. Who decides what's normal? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Or do parents decide what should be placed at the fingertips and allowed to be taught to their children in the school system? I'll read some of this for you. It says, after a bit, a person's vagina becomes moist and slippery. And the clitoris becomes hard. After a bit, a person's penis, Pastor, Pastor, penis becomes gonna, erect, stiff, me. and larger. Pastor. Sometimes a bit of clear Pastor. fluid that may contain Pastor. a few sperm comes out of the tip of the penis and makes Pastor. it wet. Can we, sir, I'm sorry. I, Is I'm, there, did I, was it something I said? <clears throat> was it something I said? If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? You see, we have perverts that are perverting our kids. And you all sit back smug in your chairs and celebrate diversity, equity, and inclusion, but you don't want me to read it so you can hear it. Why? Does it bother you? Yes or no? You can't answer that question. You want to know why? Because politically speaking, you can't say that it's wrong. You probably are a Christian man. But many Christians today have become more Democrat than Christian. Some Republicans have become more Republican than Christian. I'm not trying to win an election. I don't get my talking points from the RNC or the DNC. I get my talking points from the B-I-B-L-E, from the Bible. And you don't want me to read the filth because it exposes the truth. How dare you tell me to stop reading it? If you don't want to hear it, why should the children have to see it? Pastor, your time is, is, the time is up. Thank you. That makes two of us.